Hi, I'm Shreya and this is Decoding Code. In this video, we're going to be talking about priority cues, uh, what exactly those are, some of just the basic methods that you can use with these, and also we'll be talking about why you would want to use a priority queue in your code. Let's just get right into it. Since All right, so what is a priority queue? So a queue is basically just a sequence of objects or things or whatever, and it actually follows the first in, first out kind of principle. So what that means is that if something is added, it will be added to kind of the end, and then when you remove or take something, it'll be the first one in will be the first one out. So it comes in one end and it goes out the other end. So the first one that was added will be the first one um, to exit the queue. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's why I have the little diagram thing. Um, but yeah, and priority queues are um, ordered in ascending order based on priority. So basically what that means is that um, if you have something of a high priority, that will be at the end of the queue. And if you have something of a low priority, that will be at the beginning of the queue. And then if you were to remove or return the kind of highest priority, that would be taking it from the end of that queue. What are some um, methods that you can use with that? Well, just like the um, kind of regular just methods that you can use with collections there's a dot add um, it has its own iterator the iterator however does not return the elements in a particular order so it doesn't return it in that uh, order based on priority there is also an offer which is kind of the same thing as a dot add it's basically synonymous um, in a priority queue in different collections those two methods dot offer and dot add will be different. You can clear it and you can get its size. You can also check if it's empty um, and do a whole bunch of stuff with that and you can see that here. And there are all of these things. All right, so there is this dot comparator and basically that returns hold on that returns the comparator used to order the elements uh, by priority. And you can set that by yourself. It can be uh, set to whatever your priority standards are for your whatever your code is. Um, but it has a default um, in the kind of natural ordering and it has its own default, which is by ascending order. All right, you can convert it. There is a dot to string and there is also a dot to array, which converts it to an array for you. Um, so those can come in handy if you want to um, convert it to a string representation, which is dot to string, or convert it to an array. Um, and also, something that might be useful is that there's this dot peak and there's this dot pull. So dot peak basically means that you are just looking at the head or the first value in this queue. That would be the one with the highest um, priority and then we would look at the dot pull and basically this means that you are returning and removing the head of the queue or the first one with the most priority so that is what those are and something that you can do with those actually really quickly is that something that happens with priority queues is that you can't really access individually the elements except for the head so when you're kind of iterating through it, you might want to do something like this. What I'm doing here is I added a bunch of numbers here and they're in not in the ascending order right now. And so what I do here is I can use this so I can keep returning and removing that first uh, head value and then when it becomes null and it returns null once that queue is empty. So once it returns null, I can stop that while loop going through um, 
the heads and just returning those and printing it out here. And so basically that's one way to just go through it. So in this case, this would be the first head and that we remove that from that queue and then this would be and then this would be and then this would be and then this would be. So we just continue going down the line, returning and removing the first um, elements until we kind of printed out the entire queue. Yeah, just go through it based on the opposite kind of order and keep going through the heads like that. Also, something that might be uh, informational is that priority queues only order it when it's absolutely necessary. So in this case, it printed it out like this, not in order, since two is the highest priority already. Once we're going down the line, it doesn't really care about these other elements. And same goes for this one. If you see this um, priority queue of animals, the rest of these animals aren't um, ordered like correctly, but lion is in this case highest priority. So it put that at the front and then it doesn't really care about the others right now because it isn't necessary. So that's kind of useful to know. I think it's kind of cool how it only orders it when it really needs to and when you are kind of asking it to. Otherwise, it's just the first one that's kind of ordered like that. Really quickly, why you would want to use a priority queue. If you want to have it based on priority and you can put your own comparator in there um, to have your own kind of measure of priority of your objects in this queue, then a priority queue would be for you since it can use and order it based on that priority that you can set. And I just hope that you guys found this video informational. If you did, you can give me a like and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this every single Monday. And um, yeah, if you liked it, come back and see my videos. I would love that. And um, I will see you guys again next week. Bye!